I'm um, very interested in male hypogonadism, and this particular study had to do with a new and novel way of administering testosterone uh, to men who have the diagnosis of hypogonadism. Hypogonadism is a term for a low or reduced testosterone in men. The reasons for this uh, could be due to a problem with the testes themselves. They could have been destroyed by radiation therapy, uh, chemotherapy, or some genetic abnormalities. They call that primary testicular failure. Or it can be due to a problem at the level of the pituitary or the hypothalamus, and that is due to a problem with the uh, pituitary tumor can cause that. Again, radiation damage can cause that. So in both of those scenarios, the level of testosterone is very low. The study I uh, use this novel pill um, that can be given to men. Um, the, it's a pill that's administered twice a day, BID dosing. And it, um, it works by having the testosterone be absorbed through the lymphatic system. There is a pill that has been used for quite a while called a methyl testosterone, but that is absolutely not recommended because the methyl testosterone, when administered orally, uh, causes a problem with abnormal liver function tests. This is absorbed through the lymphatic system and does not go directly into the liver. We found that the pill was absorbed very nicely. Um, there was good bioavailability of the uh, testosterone within the pill. Um, and we know this obviously by measuring blood levels of the testosterone. So we found that the levels of testosterone increased um, to a normal range. And we found that the drug did not have any safety issues. So it was safe and effective uh, in raising blood levels. And these patients were treated for up to one year. No, um, in this we've we've done several studies using this using using this medication. This particular study, which is the long term safety, uh, the patients were treated for fifty two weeks for a year, um, and they were the patients were randomized either to this new oral medication than or to an or to a medication a gel that's already been out for a few years. And we found them very comparable in raising serum testosterone levels to the same point. This is a oral testosterone compound, um, something that is very different since there is no uh, other safe and effective way of giving testosterone orally. There is lots of ways of administering testosterone to men who have male hypogonadism. Uh, the present ways are using a patch or using a gel or an injection. Um, there are a few other ways as well. Um, but this is different in that it can be given as a pill. This is a nice option for patients that need to be treated for their male hypogonadism. Um, there are several options that are already out there, but this is a pill form meaning it's much more easy to take than some of the present injections or gels. Um, with a pill, there's no fear of transference, uh, meaning is that when a man takes a gel, there is a risk that at least within the first two hours, and if they rub up against another person, there can be transference of the testosterone to uh, another person. So that is uh, something that this product does not have because it's administered orally. So I think it gives a very nice option for men to take a pill. Uh, and Americans generally like pills uh, as opposed to other forms of modality. Male hypogonadism is an area of great deal of interest. Uh, in some situations where the levels are low and the men are very symptomatic, um, then this can be uh, a very um, uh, uh, a medication that truly helps them both physically and psychologically. 
Um, so it is nice that men will have this option because there are many men who are um, hesitant to take testosterone when it's only available as a gel because of the transference or the injection, which is very non-physiological. So to have an option of a pill which has good bioavailability, I think will really help patient care. Well, there's still the question of really what is the best population uh, who needs to take a testosterone. Um, and the question that we were asking in the present studies, which is, is it safe? Does it raise testosterone levels? Um, the answer to that is yes. But the next question is, well, what does that do to uh, the man's body, so to speak? You know, does it increase bone density? Does it help with his muscle mass? What are the real physiological benefits that can be seen when men take testosterone? Um, right now we're discussing various other research studies to be done, but the goal uh, is that the company has submitted all of the paperwork and they hope that uh, they get FDA approval sometime this summer.